The University of Washington Department of Emergency Medicine section of critical care uh, really focuses on the resuscitation and care of critically ill patients across the full spectrum of critical illness, ranging from the pre-hospital setting all the way to the ICU. We have faculty trained in emergency medicine and critical care who have expertise in neurologic emergencies, cardiovascular critical care, ECMO, medical education, clinical research, and really have all of those skills to offer not only our patients but our trainees and people who rotate with us. We are a regional resource. We have patients who come uh, to our hospitals from a large five state region where we're the main referring uh, tertiary hospital and health system for that region. Because of that, we see a wide variety of cases and a huge breadth of critically ill patients uh, with all sorts of problems that uh, they look to us to fix. We see a large volume of stroke patients, a large volume of trauma patients. We are the only level one trauma center in Washington state. And we have a very robust transfer network with Airlift Northwest. We transport about four to 5,000 patients a year and about a quarter of them are patients with acute neurologic illness. We have uh, five full-time emergency medicine critical care faculty and two part-time faculty and we're recruiting more so we're a growing group and all of them are incredibly skilled clinicians and uh, academics and also invested in our trainees. The training uh, for critical care for our residents really varies by the residents' level of interest. So all of our residents are going to do at least five months of critical care during their residency, and that's split between a lot of different ICUs. So the critical care track is really a pretty dedicated curriculum that's designed specifically to prepare uh, residents for fellowship, although you don't have to go into fellowship as part of that track. The track then allows you to do two additional ICU rotations, and these are sort of part of some of the prerequisites for critical care fellowship. You also do scholarly project and have targeted mentoring with our um, critical care faculty to really help you prepare for fellowship. For those residents who have a stronger interest in critical care, they can do the critical care interest group, which is a great venue for those who want to learn more without too much of a commitment during residency. They will do social events that we organize. Uh, they can participate in research projects that are done with our faculty, and they can do journal clubs, share research articles, and really participate in critical care a little bit more in depth. Not only is every resident coming out of this program really well trained in critical care, by doing the track, I feel like I have an incredibly broad, um, broad education in critical care and have gotten some really good depth in it as well. We have a number of fellows that have just completed their emergency medicine residence at residency and are joining us. We have EM representation in the neurocritical care environment currently, as well as the medical critical care environment and the anesthesia critical care pathways. So you're gonna have mentorship, not just from the faculty that are practicing in this environment, but from fellows that have completed residency programs here and elsewhere that are doing that advanced training and completing their own fellowships. Probably our biggest strength is that we're not siloed. We're very cross-departmental, cross-profession, collaborative. Here at UW Medicine, we offer ECMO, which is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. For me, as a faculty member, it's really important. It's one of the main reasons why I work at UW Medicine, is being able to do this very subspecialized type of medicine. It gets me excited to work on program development and building and to, you know, enhance my physiologic understanding of medicine and to be able to teach all our trainees, our fellows, residents, also fellow faculty. All of us who are in this section work in the ICUs and work with our EM residents on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity to work with some really phenomenal people and experts in their fields at a both local and national level. These are some of the foremost researchers and educators in the country and it's a great opportunity to both work with them and learn from them.